like 51 weeks old. Yeah, she is because next week she is the big one. Oh, MG. Oh my gosh, you're all, you're one years old next week. Yeah. She, all she wants is my phone. Let's not have another tantrum on screen, eh? You just you can't have my phone. So just. All right. So I don't know if you guys know, but this is the second to last Mila and me vlog. What? We have one vlog left next week, and it makes me really sad. And it's one where she's turning one. I cannot believe it. Like it's nearly been a whole year. I mean. I would have been like going into hospital this week and getting my checkups and then you know over the weekend I would have been going to get induced and then they would have sent me home and then I would have come back and got induced and we would have had me and I just think that that's totally crazy that that was a year ago you guys I'm gonna get so emotional next week when I do my very last meal on me vlog I'm just who else is sad do you kind of feel like it's the end of an era, like, because that's how I feel, and that's how I felt when I did Roman's, um, his were called IVF Mummy Diaries, if you want to look back on his ones, so his were IVF Mummy Diary one week old, or something like that, and Mila's are obviously called Mila and Me, and when Roman's finished at that one year mark, I really did feel like it was the end of an era, and I'm already feeling that way with Mila's, even though we've still got a week to go, but, um, you know, I've been doing this every week, sometimes two weeks at a time, um, for an entire year. I don't know, I just, I get sentimental over things like that, but I don't know if you guys feel like it's the end of an era because it's, you know, something that's gone on for an entire year, you kind of get used to it and you get used to seeing it and you get used to filming it and you get used to editing it and you get used to putting your notes on your phone and now that that's all finishing up next week, I just feel sad sad and a little bit lost like this could be the last time that I ever get to do this sort of diary and you know a lot I know a lot of youtubers definitely don't do a weekly update on their kids and I've always said that I'd only do it for the first year because <laughs> it's a lot of effort but um you know they'll do like a chatty update and I feel like these vlogs have been my chatty updates and a way of getting in touch with you guys and um, being able to communicate with you and you guys messaging me in the comments and me trying to reply to as many of them as possible and I just feel like now that those vlogs are ending I just I feel like I might feel a bit more distanced from you guys and I'll just have to make the effort to update as much as possible of course you know now we will be doing the trying to conceive baby number three vlogs but they're not going to be every week, you know, like, because something new is probably not going to happen every week with that. But yeah, I don't, I just don't know, it just makes me feel really sad. That's all I can say, it's just, I feel really sad and I guarantee you next Monday I won't be able to film this vlog without having a cry, probably. What do we know? So what's happened in the past week? Fortnight a week. I can't remember what I'm up to. Um, so we had me and Rose's cake smash, and I did tell you about that in the last vlog. But we got the photos back the other day, and they're so beautiful. Me and Rose is just so cute and so girly, and um, I cannot wait to get them printed to put some on the wall. Um, I did do a cake smash video. If you haven't seen that, I'll maybe link it here or down there, or it'll be linked somewhere. Go to my channel, whatevs. Um, and Um, we'll be, I will be putting up the photos as well because I know not all of you have Facebook. This is a daily thing now, Melrose's tantrum-y voice. So yeah, um, so we've done that and we've done lots and lots of party shopping and I did a vlog on that and I've done more party shopping since then. Uh, the weather for her birthday party is not looking great at all and it was meant to be at our house but I'm thinking now I'm going to have to find a venue to have her party because it is meant to just be pouring down with rain for like the rest of this week and all next week and her party's on Saturday so I don't really know what I'm going to do and I've done a lot more shopping since I filmed that vlog too and um, I'm really looking forward to her party it's going to be a whole bunch of fun but it's also going to be a really sad day for me because this year went so much faster than Roman's first year. I mean, having a first baby, you don't really know what you're doing. Everything's new. And, you know, with your second, it's not as um, traumatizing. <laughs> I could say traumatizing. Um, so, yeah. That's scooting away, something. Where are you going? 
There she is. She's just going to play over in the background. I'll just sit here so you can watch her play in the background too. Um, alright. The other thing that's happened in the past fortnight is, um, well, yesterday, <laughs> we got our new vanities for our bathroom. So if you keep up with our maybe dailies, you'll probably see the progress on doing our house up and things like that. So um, although these maybe, uh, although these Mila and me vlogs will be finishing up, you can still catch up with us like on a semi like maybe weekly basis. It could be a lot more now that these videos are stopping, but keep up with us on that channel too if you want to see us more often than what I may be posting on this channel. I don't know. Really, the future is really unclear right now. It's just really, I just don't know what is going to happen. I don't really know the future of my channel at all right now. It's a bit scary and I'm just like, oh my gosh, what am I going to do? I don't know. So the details on Mila is that she is completely weaned. She has not breastfed since my last vlog that I told you about. So she's been weaned for well over a week now. Maybe even, is it maybe two weeks? I can't remember. I don't know. Um, she now commando crawls. Um, and I did say last week that she butt shuffles, but she butt shuffles really fast now. Like she, that's her way of movement, man. But she commando crawls quite well. Um, she's getting a lot more babbly. She hasn't been the more vocal of the two children. Um, she yells and squeals very well. She, no problem with that. But like babbling with sound, she's done a lot less than what Roman did at this age. She's just finally starting to do that as well. And it's just really super cute. Like, especially when Martin and I are in our bedroom and we can hear her through the baby monitor and she's sitting there chatting to herself. It's just really cute. Her eczema is getting really bad and I'm just, I don't know if some sort of food is triggering it or, or I don't know what, but it gets bad and then I'll smother her in fatty cream and hydrocortisone cream whatever other cream the chemist has given me and um sometimes it will go away but then it comes back really bad and I just really feel like I can't keep on top of it but routine at the moment is she'll get up about seven she'll go down for a nap at like 9 30 then she'll get up at like 11 30 then she'll go down at anywhere between 2 and 2 30 depending on if she's like getting grumpy or if she's happy to keep playing for another half an hour um and then she'll get up at like five and then she'll go to bed at 7 30 and she'll sleep right through the night so um yay <laughs> it's only taken a better half of a you know a good 11 months for her to actually sleep through the night consistently but um we're finally there now but yeah she does sleep a good 11 12 hours at night which is incredible and i'm so so happy uh, hi should we make you in focus Hello. Hello. Did her measurements again because I think I told you guys that she was in the 0.4th percentile for her height and I didn't believe it. So I've waited another month and I have done the measurements again and I there is no way I can be this off this many times. She's definitely very short. I, so I've taken a measurement, she's grown another centimetre. Um so a one-year-old, so she's one, I just made one, she's one next week. So a one-year-old and she is currently 66.5 or 67 if you want to round it up a bit, um, centimetres. So it puts her in the 0 0.4 percentile in my Plunkett book. If you have a New Zealand Plunkett book on you, put in a one-year-old and put in 60... 6, 67 centimeters and see because those lines are really hard to follow and I may be getting them wrong so if you can look in your Plunkett book and tell me what line it leads you to and tell me if it still actually is a 0.4 percentile like I'm reading it then let me know to make sure that I'm not actually doing it really wrong because it's 0.4 percentile is really crazy. Me, I've just got here weight struggles. Ugh. I haven't put on the weight but I'm just really at a plateau right now. The weight is just not coming off and considering we're trying to conceive baby number three it's really not helping so I'm getting really discouraged but I'm trying my best and yeah I just I just want to get this weight off. It's really annoying. Hey guys that's probably really all I have to talk about today. Mila Rose would you like to come up and say hello my big one-year-old next week? Hey? My big one-year-old next week? You say hello? <laughs> this is her new thing, her tongue, this, it's always sticking out, it's always sticking back in. Still no teeth, by the way, I can see the, see the little white, like, bulge still, but still no actual teeth come through. 
Can you say hi? Let's stop. Let's turn the screen like so it's not so glary. Yeah. Here we go. Can you say hello, YouTube? Hi. Hello, YouTube. She's like, I don't want to look at that. It's not doing anything. <laughs> the lighting, you guys. The sun is going behind clouds and coming out again. Like, I can't help that. I really need to get myself like a softbox lighting kit so I can film anywhere in the dark and just have my softbox lighting. See, and now the sun's out again. You know, I just, it's, I struggle with the lighting in this room. I don't know if you guys want to have any input with what to, I should do for vlogs for now until... I quit YouTube or we have a baby whichever comes first I don't I don't really know what's gonna happen with that um, so if you want to put some ideas below then that's cool I have every time someone has commented with an idea I have been writing it down so I do have a big list of vlogs that I can do but feel free to share, share some more and also let me know what you want to see in Mila Rose's very last Mila and me vlog um, with Roman I did like a special one where I did my best moment of the year, my worst moment of the year, um, the most exciting, yada yada yada, so I'll probably do something like that, but if there is something in particular you want to see <laughs> in next week's vlog, what's the matter? Oh, baby. Then um, please let me know in the comments below. Yes, she got my phone, she won. You won, didn't you? Alright, Mila Rose, you're going to say bye bye? <laughs> She's like, look, I got the phone, I won. Can you say, can you say ta-ta? <laughs> can you say ta-ta? Oh, she's been really sick too, that's why her nose is red. She's been really sick the past week, so um, she's only just kind of recovering from not being able to breathe for a while. <laughs> can you say ta-ta? Ta-ta! Ta-ta. Yes, we know. We see you've got the phone. They see you've got the phone. Ow. <laughs> she just bashed me in the nose with it. Kisses. Kisses. You wave ta-ta. You wave ta-ta. <laughs> Alright guys, thanks so much for watching as usual. I know there wasn't a heck of a lot in this vlog, I'm sorry, like, my mind is just so obviously elsewhere at the moment with these vlogs, and, but I, I still want to do them, I want to keep up with them, considering it's the second to last one. So, um, see me next week for the very, very last Mila and me vlog, because Miss will be one! Yes, little princess, you're going to be one. And um, I'll have a vlog up on her birthday party. And I will also have a vlog up in the next couple of weeks of Mila's whole first year. So it'll be like a montage thing of all the vlogs over the past year, which will be really cute. I did one for Roman too, so I'm definitely going to do one for Mila. All right, Mila, can you say ta-ta? Ta-ta. Good girl. All right, guys, thanks for watching. See ya.